welcome back to my channel. Today is December 20th and I am just starting another what's for dinner video here with Lucas and he's helping me out in the kitchen. So today I did go grocery shopping. We're still trying to use up what we have in the house. The kids started uh, winter break for two weeks so they're going to be home all the time eating <laughs> from home. So I picked up some hamburger patties from Costco romaine hearts and then hamburger buns and then I'm going to turn you guys around and show you guys what we're eating out of our fridge to go along with our dinner and then I also picked up some frozen steak fries from um so the pickles we had in our pantry um I mean in our fridge and then the romaine hearts are the ones from Costco onion we had in our pantry tomatoes in our fridge and then we're just using up some condiments I'm really hoping to finish this ketchup up because it needs to be done and then the cheese was in our fridge and then these fries we're just going to cook up really quick as well and then the burgers are going in the air fryer i also picked up a rotisserie chicken from costco i kind of always pick up a rotisserie chicken when i go so we'll see the kids have been snacking on it what we're going to do with it later what do you think lucas it's going to be good yeah and this is what i want on my burger i want Mayo, ketchup, mustard with onions and pickles. Yeah, he loves and onions on his on his um, burgers. So let's get them all plated up and we'll show you guys what it looks like. Simple, simple dinner this tonight. This is how they turned out. This is Lucas's. And I want to show you guys, I have this uh, French fry seasoning that I'm going to be using on the fries and getting, you know, this used up from the pantry. I'm really working on all my seasonings because I have a lot and I need to go through them. So this is dinner for Monday night, December Everyone, Welcome back to my channel. Today it is Tuesday morning and I'm getting ready to make potato soup. I took out this ham bone that I got from the freezer. I have some celery that I bought yesterday, some potatoes from Costco, and then uh, sour cream. And I just noticed this is supposed to be tomato paste, not spaghetti sauce. So I'll put this back in the pantry and I'll go get some tomato paste for the soup. And honestly, we only need half of the jar. So if it's a big jar that I'm going to use, I'm going to freeze the rest. And then I ran out of carrots. I went grocery shopping yesterday and I have no carrots. So we have some dehydrated carrots that I'm going to throw in there. And yeah, let's get cooking and make this easy yet delicious. All right, so I switched out that can of pasta sauce for this diced tomatoes. I'm going to open this and then I'm going to puree it in my Nutribullet because my kids don't like big chunks of tomatoes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put half of it in the freezer and then half in the soup. And I'm just skimming this off and making a broth. There's the potatoes. And then I have the vegetables ready to go in the other bowl. So it's coming along great. I'm gonna put this in. Okay, and, and then there. in one of my crock pots, I'm gonna get ready to make some chili. So I'm gonna keep using that garlic that I had out. I'm gonna use this diced tomatoes with green chilies and then I only used two of the onions so I grabbed another one and using the little one uh, beef chorizo instead of uh, ground beef I got these on sale at Fred Meyers many months ago maybe like six seven months ago um, 10 for 10 so they were a dollar and this is great for chili and it already has seasoning so it's delicious and then I have some white beans out some pinto and then some more white beans and chili powder now I do have in one of my crock pots since this morning, I had these two bags of black beans in my pantry that I wanted to cook up. So let's go over here. These just finished. So obviously I'm gonna strain them and I just put salt, pepper, an onion, and they've been cooking all morning. I'm going to strain these and add these to my chili and then the rest I'm gonna let it cool off, put them in Ziploc bags and put them in my freezer. Um, because I wanted to make sure that I got those cooked up and then that way I don't use so many of my canned beans because I'm trying to keep that on hand for emergencies. And then this is the can of tomatoes that I pureed. I think I'm just gonna use half for the chili and half for the soup and not even freeze it. We'll see if we need more uh, tomato paste after I put in the diced tomatoes with the green chili. So, let me get, let me cook up the chorizo with the onion and the garlic and get that going in the crock pot and I'll show you guys when it all Okay, so in. here is the chili and you guys, I have no more corn in my pantry or my freezer. So I had to pull out this jar of dehydrated corn and I added to my chili. 
and I did use some of that tomato puree, but I think it's still, I'm gonna have too much. I'm gonna put some in the freezer because I don't need that much for the soup. These are the cans I used. I did not use the other can of white beans and that's fine. And yeah, this is gonna be really delicious. I'm really excited to, to have some chili. It's been, even though it's nice and sunny today, I'm just excited for chili. I need some chili. It's that kind of season and I want to really show good. you guys these are all the beans I drained them and I, I rinsed them with cold water because as you can tell they're overcooked. I mean they still have a little bit of a bite to them but not very much um, they're a little more cooked than I would have liked to have them for the freezer but they'll still be okay I'm mainly going to use these for um, chilies so they'll be fine and then I want to show you guys I got this recycled jar um, I always wash them in my dishwasher and then I put them um in my in my pantry well on the shelf in the garage and then i just rinsed it out because i want to open these two cans of sliced oh okay hold on this is a sliced mangoes and this is a sliced peaches so i'm gonna do which one do you want mango okay so we'll open up the can i was gonna say maybe i could fit two jars in here because if i have them in here in the fridge we'll most likely eat them if not, they're just going to sit on the shelf in the pantry. So I guess we're going to open just the mango ones. I don't know if I have another one of the mango. Uh, if I don't, we'll just eat this. Um, I'll put it in this jar. And then I want to show you guys, when Lucas was sick, I got this Pedialyte. And it is, it has no flavor. It's like nasty. He couldn't drink it. So I don't want to throw it away. So I've been mixing it with this Canadian Dry and just been drinking it because it's just electrolytes. So I'm trying to use that up in the fridge. We'll use these up. And I'll try to see if I have more mangoes. If I don't, I'll just put peaches in here and put it in the fridge. And look how beautiful this jar was. It's beautiful lid. And I, I wash these through the a dishwasher, especially if it's a pasta jar or a pickle jar, multiple times. Because if not, they smell like tomatoes. This has no smell to it, so it's ready to go. You excited, Noah? Yeah, my chili is going. Let me show you guys the soup. I just put the veggies in there and the tomato paste and then um, we'll, add, we'll add the potatoes a little bit later on. And okay, so the mangoes it. are gone. The kids just ate them. They're, they're really delicious. And then I just put this uh, can of peaches in here. It looks like only one can is going to fit. Maybe if I squeeze down two, but it's okay. We'll do one can, keep it in the fridge. That way everyone can see it. They can access it. And then we can go through our fruit. Again, I'm not trying to go through my... Um, fruit like to get uh, my canned stuff to get rid of it but we've had these for a while i know these need to be eaten up so that's why i'm trying to go through them this one says that it was good till 2023 but i have a lot more and so i want to just rotate them go through this and then replenish go to the store and i replenish. forgot to show you what dinner looks like so this is my husband's plate this is the soup he likes it with a side of pickles and then over here we have the chili we've already been eating from it it's super delicious we obviously have some leftover of the soup and the chili for tomorrow and we'll see you guys good morning tomorrow. everyone it is wednesday morning and we are having fried eggs with these discounted english muffins for breakfast uh the kids are all home we wanted a high protein breakfast because we have a lot of cleaning to do today and a lot of things right, to get done. Wednesday night, my son David made spaghettis with Italian everyone, sauce. It is Thursday, and today we are eating on burgers in the air fryer. There you go, Noah. Thank you. And then I am um, just focusing on baking. We're going to be using some more of these. This I only have two more. This one and another one in the stockpile. We'll be done with that milk. And we are going to be doing a lot of Christmas baking. And I'll kind of show you guys the results. The kids are just hanging out. There's blankets everywhere. Anyway, so leftovers and lots of baking today. And I'll just show you guys the baking that I do because I'm really not cooking today anything. I don't know. I was having a burger. Lucas, are you having a burger? I made another one. Sure. He'll have a burger. And then um, one of my other kids is having this. It's just leftover chili with some leftover tater tots with some tortillas that we found in the fridge. What else are you putting? Some salsa verde. And yeah, like, like I said, we're just eating up leftovers in creative different ways. I think there's some cheese. Is there cheese? Yeah, there's cheese underneath. Cleaning out the fridge is great. And then whatever we'll find in the freezer that they can warm up or cook, that's what we're eating. So this is what's going on. We are just putting little Christmas tins with homemade goodies for our neighbors. We have all kinds of yummy, delicious treats being baked. 
and packaged very cutely for them. So this is what's going on. We have the neighbor's gifts and we are going to go deliver them. Everyone say Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. David doesn't want to be in the, the video, but he's still going to be in it. So let's go. Hi, everyone. It is December 25th. Merry Christmas to you all. We just woke up. We spent a great time. We had a great time last night at our friend's house, ate cabbage rolls and lots of dessert last night. And now we woke up in the morning super tired because we went to bed super, super late, but that's okay. And we have opened our Christmas presents. So let me flip you guys around and show you what so that starting like. with Emma. What do you want to say, Emma? Oh, um, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's, everyone. Yes, so as you guys can see, there's my husband and David. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to everybody. We have a lot of goodies that we got. It was super fun. We got gifts for each other. And the mess keeps going on to these little boogers. What do you guys want to say to everyone on YouTube? Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. This is what the mess looks like, which is okay. Uh, we don't mind. There's our tree, our flowers. And today we have something Mocha. super fun. Where is she? That's our bunny Mocha. I'm not sure if I put her on YouTube before. She is a dwarf and she's almost, um, we've had her for almost a year. In January, it's going to be a year. She is exploring and hopping around and enjoying her little life. So um, we have some big things going on today. What are we making, babe? Big uh, turkey. Big what? Turkey. Turkey. We're going to make a turkey. We're going to make a Thanksgiving feast. But for Christmas, so let's get that sucker in the oven and show you guys what okay, it looks so like. so for the turkey, I'm using two of these jars of homemade chicken stock. And I found this uh, turkey rub seasoning. I think I got it on clearance last year after Thanksgiving. So we'll use that. I'm going to use some Kerrygold butter. This has been in my fridge, in my pantry, in my freezer. I'm going to put here some butter. Uh, not some butter, some chicken stock. And some white wine that we're going to heat up. And then we're gonna baste the turkey with that, with the cheesecloth. I'll show you guys what it looks like before I put All it in right, the oven. So this is a team effort. I don't like to touch raw meat and my husband always so sweet and he always helps me, right? So you can come closer. He's just shoving uh, the Kerrygold butter underneath the skin. Okay, and then I think that's enough. The rest you're gonna uh, rub it on top. And I'm just putting some salt and pepper and then I'm gonna open this and put all over it and then I have a cheesecloth that I'm going to soak in my butter white, uh, butter and white wine mixture and then we're going to cover the turkey with that. Okay, now soften that up and rub the turkey. Give it a good rub down. Yeah, like all over, like you have to let it know. Kind of, like you usually do it. So this year we didn't, we didn't do a turkey for Thanksgiving because we were at my mom's house we celebrated Thanksgiving. So I have this in the fridge. I got it for free at Winko with $100 spent. So, I mean, not in my fridge, in my freezer. So I wanted to, that smells so good. I wanted to use that up. And that's another thing that's getting out of our freezer. And this obviously takes up a lot of room. And now we have a lot of room to put other things in. All right, so we put the two cheesecloths over it. And we're actually going to put some uh, tin foil on it for the first maybe half an hour. I have the oven going at 495. So we want to shock it at a really high heat and then we'll turn it down to about 400 and then we'll go from there. So our turkey is just wrapping it up in the oven. My mashed potatoes are boiling and I'm going to get ready to put together the green bean casserole. I have green beans. I'm not going to use the whole container, but <clears throat> what we don't use, I can keep in a jar in the fridge or freeze it and then I found this gravy packet I have some extra butter pieces that I'll throw into the mashed potatoes I have some crispy onion in this bag just a little bit at the bottom and then I have this six ounce bag that I got for free with Ibotta for Thanksgiving so we'll use that up some cream of mushroom soup some more milk um, I have this and I thought this was my last one in my stockpile it's good till January 4th. I have one more that's good till January 4th. I have an onion and some mushrooms for the green bean casserole. So I knew that if I was doing like a Thanksgiving dinner for Christmas, I would be able to use up a lot of things from the freezer and pantry. And that is exactly what I'm doing. And it feels really good to clean all this stuff out. And then we can buy new stuff and replenish okay, it. Okay, guys, here is Christmas dinner. We have mashed potatoes and gravy, the turkey, and then... The green bean casserole is still bubbling. That just came out. 
And then I had this little salad in the fridge, so I, so I made that up as well. I'm gonna let that cool down and dig in. Hi, you guys, it is Sunday, and we are driving up to my mom's house. It is December 26th, the day after Christmas, but we're all getting together to celebrate Christmas today uh, with my extended family, and this is the drive. I just wanted to show you guys we got a little bit of snow. It is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can, no, you can't see it, but just ahead over there is Mount St. Helens. Uh, if I can get a, a shot of it uh, from a different angle, then I will. Hey. 